Okay, this will be uh, Pam Swenson, EWGA, in three, two, one. Well, we are sitting now with one of the movers and shakers in the golf business, specifically if you want to talk about getting women involved in the golf business. Pam Swenson with EWGA. Pam, nice to see you again. How are you here? It's pretty exciting to be at this show. Isn't it? Yeah. And you have energy. And you have not come empty-handed. Oh, no. Because you're bubbling. It's like, it's like, uh, uh. you know, I've been working on this project for about mm-hmm. the last eight months with a great team behind me. Uh-huh. And it's a book. It's a book. And it's called Teeing Up for Success. Uh-huh. And the ink is barely dry, but we're actually announcing it tonight Whoa. at a women in the golf industry reception. We'll tell you, we won't mention it to anybody yet, okay? We'll okay. keep it because we don't want to steal any of your thunder. <laughs> But what uh, what was the genesis of the book? Well, we really, you know, we've been around for 23 years. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine. I mean, it just wonderfully introducing women to the game of golf. And I thought to myself, hmm, we have so many stories, and I know golf has changed my life in so many ways. Mm-hmm. I'm sure for other women, they want to tell their story, too. We, thought, we have a foundation, which is about enriching women's lives through the game of golf and giving back. Mm-hmm. And I thought, what if we did it as a foundation fundraiser, and these women could be invited to share their story, and then they could say that they're authors as well. So we have 31 Fantastic. great stories Fantastic. in this book, and it, it's as I said, it's just going to be available very soon on Amazon, but mm-hmm. we're going to talk about it this week. That is great. Do you, do you find that, that um, women are, are loath to, to get into the game because of intimidation, because there's so few of their fellow females that are playing? Uh, it's kind of a, a chicken or an egg thing. It is, but you know what we find out when we, finally, when we talk to somebody that hasn't played the game? Mm-hmm. They're like, nobody ever invited me. So it really is about extending that invitation to make them feel comfortable Mm -hmm. because you want to feel wanted in whatever you're doing. Definitely. And if you don't get that invite, you may shy away and say, geez, I don't think they want me or it's not for me. And I think that's where EWJ has been really successful in that we provide that non-threatening environment for women to feel comfortable, make new friends, have fun, and and learn how to play. You know, I've never done it personally, but I understand that sometimes men intimidate women. And, um, it's, You've never done that. I have never intimidated anybody. Oh I my. am so unintimidating. Pam, <laughs> come on. Um, I mean, that would be a bad thing to do. Uh, but a lot of times, just not thinking. Uh, you know, guys, even when they do, you say, you know, let's let's invite so and so from the office to come play on right. our scramble team. They still then don't make it comfortable. Even after that initial invitation. And sometimes is, people might think, well, I have to do this, so I'm going to do it. Yeah. As opposed to saying, you know, we're going to have a really good time. This could be good for your career. We were talking yesterday in an industry meeting and saying, what if every gentleman that played the game brought a female mm-hmm. to the golf course? Mm-hmm. What would that be like? Now, for some men, that probably would be a little challenging. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, maybe that's their domain, and yeah. that's where they have their fun That's time. where they go to escape. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, if we're going to grow this game and keep it alive, we need to get more women into it. And maybe it's not just for them. Maybe it's for their kids because they are the gatekeeper. Yeah. And so we want to show them that it's fabulous, it's interesting, it can be exciting, and it can be fun. Mm-hmm. And not boring. Exactly. It must be fun. Exactly. And, and getting the game fun is, is one of the things that, that we just harp on on the show all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, way too many, and, and you're going to see it out there on the floor at the PGA show, way too many people out there are taking themselves way too seriously. And they're, why? I mean, USGA is looking for the best golfer in the country. Why? Mm-hmm. That eliminates 99.99999% mm-hmm. of everybody mm-hmm. else. Let's find the guy who has the most fun, or the woman who has the most fun out there. That's you know? why I think real stories are mm-hmm. really impactful, because you can identify with someone's story like that. Exactly. And if it happened to me, it mm-hmm. could ha- you could have that same experience. Yeah. I mean, I'm never going to be an Olympian or a gold medalist, no. but I can certainly be very passionate about the game. Exactly. And I like to say, you know, you look at that golf ball with all the dimples on it, <laughs> and there's so many stories that you learn through the game of golf about yourself and other people and doors that it opens that, to me, that golf ball and the title of my chapter <laughs> is, uh, you know, the impact of a dimpled ball mm-hmm. opens doors. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's not a crystal ball, but it's been a pot of gold for me. Right. And I'd love to share that with other women. Even in an, off, in an office situation, if you just did a golf-related thing on your desk, exactly, you would get so many people 
I mean, because now you, they have an affinity with you. And well, it's a conversation exactly, starter. Exactly, something to and talk you think, about. Jeez, oh, I didn't know that he plays golf. Yeah. Oh, let me see if he watched the tournament yesterday. Yeah. What did he think of Tiger or Phil or yeah. Ricky or you yeah. know anything that opens doors and it gives you more things to talk about than the weather. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a great, great icebreaker, and, and so many friendships are, are made on the golf course. Um, Absolutely. Know, in 18 holes, you can learn an awful lot about somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you may learn that you don't want to do it again. But that's not usually the case because golfers are great people. But They are. And right. I think that as an industry, to be here at this show, when you see all the different merchandise wares and vendors and manufacturers, and you see that there's vibrancy, mm-hmm. and it gives you real excitement. It's like, oh, my gosh, I just wish more people would pick up the club and yeah. go take a lesson and learn because they can experience so it takes. much. I have a nine-year-old grandson. He swung one time, hit it 20 yards in the air straight, and was hooked. And that can happen to anybody. Just, you know, yeah. just don't be afraid. Just it's do that it. that connection. Exactly. You know, it doesn't matter if it's with a snag piece of golf equipment or it. if it's a regular club. When you connect, it's it. magical. Exactly. And no one's going to laugh at you. They no. may laugh next to you, but they're not going to be laughing right. at you. We've all been there. That's it. Teeing up for success. You're going to announce it tonight. Yes. And it's available on Amazon in the uh, not-too-distant future. Uh, probably within the next 24, 48 hours. All righty then. Yes. We will check it out. Pam, great to see you again. Thank you so much for inviting me. Have a good time.